Hey guys, everything Apple Pro here in another Hidden Features video, this time 25 more. I've already made two of these, we're still finding more features all of the time. All of the biggest ones have already been discovered, but there's a lot of smaller interesting refinements that I want to share with you in this video. Siri will save you time when dialing numbers in iOS 10. Call 360-999-9999. So instead of just repeating the number back to you, in iOS 10, she's just gonna dial it right away, saving you like five seconds of time. So this one's going to be extremely difficult to see, but on the right is iOS 9. On the left is iOS 10. The clock hand for the seconds is now orange instead of red on iOS 9. So a little bit of variation there. Now we're all familiar with the Respring logo on iOS 9. It looks just like that. Well, it's been changed in iOS 10. And instead of getting the Apple logo, you just get the little spinning icon like that and new Respring logo. Now on the Apple Watch, we all know that you can use it to find your iPhone. Well now in iOS 10 and watchOS 3 combined, you can use a feature like that, but reversed instead, find my Apple Watch, where it'll go ahead and activate a beacon the same style just from the iPhone to the watch in case you take it off and can't find it. Now with automatic downloads enabled in the App Store, if we go ahead and open up the App Store, and if you click on updates in iOS 9, nothing will happen. But if you do it in iOS 10, your updates will automatically start downloading. A little bit annoying if you didn't want to do that, but that is there now. Notifications can now be interacted with by sliding them, but this was available in iOS 9, except if you now have a message, you can get a new option to send a message back or a phone call or you 3D touch on them and you get those options as well. So for some reason, it's not activating for me on a slide, but if it did, this is what it would look like. And this is from a user on Reddit and grab that image from him. In notifications, there is a new style of notification. So instead of having a notification that'll sit on your display, be in the middle of everything, distracting what you do, like this alert right here, you can have it sit just up on top of your display. So now notifications that you choose to stay on your display until you dismiss them will look like this. One allows for your phone to be used in the background. The other makes it completely inaccessible. Inside of accessibility, there is a relocated setting. So inside of higher contrast right here, the option to reduce white point has been moved to display accommodation. So people that have used that in the past, don't be confused, it's just been moved. And I picked this one up from a Reddit user, thank you. So someone was using their iPhone to type on TV OS 10 and it gave them a suggestion to go ahead and use the Apple TV keyboard which you can go ahead and slide and it'll jump you into there nice little recommendation so this is an absolutely incredible one say you're playing music from your device and you decide to play a gif one of the most infuriating things in your life was when your music cuts out during that gif playback so now we go ahead and play it and our music is still being played in the background. It doesn't stop playing. Thank you, Apple, for fixing one of the worst things about iOS. So smaller iPhones, including the SE, 5S, and iPhone 5, now have an option to dismiss keyboard when in landscape. So using this right here on iOS 10, you can easily dismiss the keyboard instead of having to swipe down. Now this one isn't as much hidden as activating it was for me. Apple didn't tell us how to do that, but Rotate your iPhone landscape in the messages application in order to get the handwriting tool. So you guys can go ahead and write whatever you want, make it handwritten and send that off to someone. Super cool. Also another infuriating thing that has been fixed, you now have an option to stop an alarm when it's going off on your lock screen. Instead of just snoozing it, it's good to have that option. And not only that, you can actually 3D touch on the alarm notification. So you'll get some options and a nice little counter right there. Now in the contact settings for individual applications, there is an option for emergency bypass. So if you want someone to be able to reach you at any time, no matter if your phone is silenced, if uh, do not disturb is on, go into the ringtone settings and select emergency bypass. And this will create a filter that this contact can go through and contact you at any time. In the phone application, you guys can now 3D touch on a number when you're about to dial it and select either FaceTime audio, FaceTime video, or calling, really neat. Not only that, even better, you can edit the number from within this menu without deleting the entire string of numbers and retyping it in. Absolutely necessary. I don't know why we waited this long, but finally. Also, there are new options on the phone application for 3D Touch to uh, go ahead and view the most recent call and search for a contact, two that previously did not exist. And viewing contacts in the Spotlight Search isn't anything new, but now you can go ahead and 3D Touch on that contact and in here get quick options for either messaging or cellular or FaceTime audio, basically the works. Not only that, but from within Siri Spotlight Search, the suggestions can now be 3D touched. So any icon that has 3D touch toggles on the home screen can be activated here. And even more confirmation has been found that iOS 10 
will have a night mode. An iOS app developer dug deeper in iOS 10 and found more source code pointing to a dark mode everywhere. So this is something that Apple might unlock towards later betas, hopefully. iMessages now has a built-in view for artists. So it will recognize some famous artists and when you go ahead and 3D touch on the uh, little prompt, it'll go ahead and give you an overview of this artist in particular, where you can link it to Apple Music, listen to some of the music, and uh, go ahead and see an article about them here. Kind of cool little overview for artists. All right, so I dimmed the lights on this one so you guys can see a little bit better, but Auto Enhance for Photos has become much better optimized on iOS 10. So look at the trees over here on iOS 9 and on iOS 10 on the left. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate them, iOS 9 and iOS 10. So on iOS 10, they become a little bit more brilliant. Let me try that a little bit more in sync. So uh, the result is basically definitely better. This is probably using the new brilliance function in edit, but certainly auto enhance has been improved on iOS 10. On the left is the new download view in Safari on iOS 10. So as you can see, it's been optimized. It looks certainly better. And you can go ahead and select more applications right here to choose from but better looking download view. Now we all know that there is that new split screen view in Safari, but what I didn't know is that there's a really cool way to activate it on iPad. So if we go ahead and create a new tab and we wanna get that split screen view, all you need to do is grab one tab and drag it to the very edge, whichever edge you want it to jump into. So now you have a very easy way of doing that. Now when long pressing on a link in iOS 10, you will always have an additional option now to share that link. So you can go ahead and share it with friends, always. And there it is, 25 more hidden features and changes in iOS 10. So the more betas there are, the more we will be seeing. Apple tends to change a lot in between the iOS betas, so I will be keeping an eye out for more changes. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out the other parts with all the bigger features if you haven't already. Have a great day. Peace.